Hello, my divine feminine energies. This is Empress Pamela. This is going to be an all signs reading. Choose a crystal. Message for the divine feminine. So I try to collect decks that I thought maybe represented the divine feminine energy or had a message. And I just want to tell you what they are. Modern Witch Tarot. I think most of the representations, while they're diverse for sure, I think they're all feminine. I may be overstepping, but yeah, I like the diversity of this Modern Witch Tarot deck. So we'll be using that. We will be using Buddha Wisdom, Divine Feminine, the Heart of Kuan Yin. Very nice. And messages from the Magdalene Oracle, Tony Carmine Salerno, an ocean of eternal love. Mmm. Certainly divine. And look at this. Alana Fairchild's Love Your Inner Goddess. Oracle cards to express your divine feminine spirit. I love the artistry of this so much. So it's going to be kind of a quick message, just something to ruminate over. And, you know, I will be reading from some of the um, guidebooks, you know, just to get clarification or deeper insight. And of course, with all of my readings, please use your intuition. Um, let's exercise our sixth sense together. And I'm only giving you something to ruminate over. I'm sure you have your answers already. The inner knowing exists for all of us. So first crystal is a carnelian heart. I'm using all heart shape because we are in the month of February. February. Second one, Cherry Creek Jasper. Ooh, look at that. Let's not call it a broken heart. Let's call it a heart with wisdom. <laughs> and the golden healer quartz. Wow. So powerful. So if you're interested in getting more information on these crystals, check out my playlist. You need this crystal. Um, yeah, let's get started. My videos last about a half an hour. So um, buckle in. And let's see if we can figure out what the message is. All right. Carnelian is for root and sacral chakra. It's a stone of creativity, expression, passion, um, groundedness, right? Yeah, we got all that beautifulness. Okay, Carnelian. Buddha wisdom says, when you try to hold on to things after their time, you suffer and make others suffer. Ooh, that's an intense message. Ooh, holding on to things past their expiration date. Mmm. Afraid to next to make the next move. Maybe there's some codependency that needs to be healed. Just saying, that's what comes to mind. Let's see, we have from the tarot, modern witch tarot, Wheel of Fortune. That means you're stepping into something new. Mm -hmm. Wheel of Fortune, Three of Wands, you're contemplating, you have a plan. Five of Wands, okay. So, look. <sighs> Perhaps there's been a relationship or some sort of situation where the co there's competition, there's arguments, there's perhaps disagreement, you've been put in a position where you have to defend yourself and you're tired of that crap. You've been thinking about leaving the situation, making a plan, looking at other opportunities. Um, you've had at least three different opportunities. You've chosen one. You're ready to make that step into the new. And you have the wheel of fortune. The wheels of fortune are changing and you are taking that next step. You're going into the next level. You're moving on from what no longer serves you into something new and fresh. I love it. Okay, Carnelian. Number 12, 
Princess Savior. Ooh, look at her. Take a look. So the number 12 might be significant for you. The number three, which is <laughs> the Empress, right? Three, 12, some, one of those numbers might be significant. Let's look it up and take, um, read about the Savior Princess, right? Is that what that is? Princess Savior. Okay, number 12. So, all right, this is The Inner Goddess by Alana Fairchild. Her decks are amazing. Her books are pretty extensive. Well, this one is a long message, but I will read in the reading this part, and you're free to um, screenshot the rich. There's a spirit, a sacred ritual, and then there's spiritual guidance, if you want to take a look at that. But I'm going to read the first part, okay? Number 12, Princess Savior. Even if you feel uncertain about facing a challenge, believe in yourself. You are strong enough to conquer this. There will be help if you need it, but you already have the inner resources required to overcome any obstacle and attain the most blessed outcome. If you are in the process of letting go of someone or something, what did we say? Letting go of what no longer serves you. Perhaps an old habit, an old way of life, a relationship or a situation in which you have felt trapped, don't allow insecurity or uncertainty to stop you. You've got this and you are doing the right thing in moving on. There's some validation for you. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. This actually supports... I feel like those two go together pretty well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nice, okay. I love the artwork, let's see. Miracles, ooh. Look at that, miracles. A true blue spectacle, a miracle is you. Woo. Miracles. Look at the roundness of the Wheel of Fortune, the roundness here, symbology, the yellow, I love it. Very supportive. Okay, let's look at miracles. Tony, Carmine, Salerno, what do you have to tell us about miracles? Okay, and this is her guidebook. It's not too long, but it's worth it. Let's see what's going on, guys. Carnelian, miracles. Your determination, commitment, and perseverance is about to pay off and all you have worked towards will soon manifest. It will soon be time to celebrate your achievements. However, you are cautioned not to get too elated. Thank the universe for all you achieve and keep focused. Do not lose sight of your original purpose and intentions. Right here. Keep in mind that all you do should not only serve you, but also those around you. In doing this, the universe will continue to guide you and offer its assistance. Visualize your work and influence reaching larger numbers of people. Imagine this happening with ease and only in ways that make you feel comfortable. It takes no more effort to think big than to think small and remember that a miracle is always possible no matter what situation you find yourself in. Miracles, yes. Carnelian, you are taking the reins of your life. When you try to own other things, you still make others. Okay, well, you're not doing that anymore. You are looking into your future. There's miracles to be found. Carnelian, I love that message for you. Very supportive message for my Carnelians. Okay, Cherry Creek Jasper. I love this. Really cool. 
Okay, Buddhism. Of course, you got two. Let's see what the story is with Cherry Creek Jaster. Oh, God. Free yourself from hesitations, perplexity, and consternation. Only intent on what is beneficial. Keep it simple. Silly. Kiss. Keep the kiss method available. What is that? Oh, shoot. That book. Don't sweat the small stuff. Mm. Form does not differ from void. Form is void. Outer difficult will be resolved with inner truth. Mm -hmm. You already know the answer. You have the answers. You have the answer already. Don't get bogged down. Okay. Tarot. What you got? Cherry Creek Jasper. Eight of Cups. You're... <laughs> yeah. You're walking away from... Hmm. I want to say you're going to find those extra two cups. You already have the support. You want to, you're going for the 10 cups, right? 10 of cups. You're going for the 10. Look at you. You got that extra card. <laughs> it's like getting the uh, bonus or the joker in a card, right? And I was debating whether to include it and I included it in my shuffle. So you are a badass being full of life love and possibilities through this deck may you find a path to your best self look at you you're finding that path you're walking a path you have your walking stick you're on a path to find your two of cups you're on that path girlfriend boyfriend divine feminine for another for his wife how difficult will be his inner truth Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah! Four of Wands. There it is. You're going for the ultimate in happiness. You're going for the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups. You're going for your soulmate. You're concentrating on finding that divine counterpart. Hesitating, perplexing, only intent on what is beneficial. It's beneficial for you to move on and find that soulmate. Only you can determine if that is in your best interest, right? Ooh, let's see. Let's see what's going on. <gasps> Warrior goddess number 25. I love it. Okay, let's read Warrior goddess. So 25, 2 plus 5 is 7. Oh, February 5th. Who oh, no, knows? You're 25 years old. You're born on the 25th. All those numbers could be significant or none. It's, no, it's okay. It could still be your um, 25. It could still be your message. It's just extra verification. If the number rings a bell. Okay, warrior goddess, in a reading, this is not a time to play it safe, nor is it time to allow another to take the lead in your life. You need to believe in yourself and trust that the instincts guiding you are correct. If you need to take action, do it. Speak up. Say yes, say no. Trust your inner truth completely. Be bold. The universe will answer your boldest actions with affirmation and you'll move through the consequences of your actions with grace and courage, ending up exactly where you are meant to be. Beautiful. You need to be courageous. You need to be, oh, I don't know why the word forthright <laughs> comes to mind. I mean, in your in your belief, your intentions, you know, you need to be courageous to leave what you love, what loves you, and to find even more love, what is best for you. And trust yourself. Wow. Ooh. Gorgeous. I love it. Okay. Let's see what the Magd Magdalene Oracle Ascension. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what this message is, guys. 
Ascension. Mm. Well, if you're going for, you know, you're following your path, you're following your instinct, you know you're being guided to go on a journey to follow your path, it is part of the ascension process, right? Okay. Ascension. Here we go. Look at that. Purity, intuition, crown, third eye, chakras. I don't know if that's coming to mind. Ascension. Trying to gain a higher spiritual state of awareness may feel like a long and slow process. Yet, remember that a part of you exists always in a higher spiritual state. Higher consciousness is a knowing and wisdom far beyond words or explanation. It is your true nature, the eternal light of your soul. There is no point trying to reach it just as there is no point in trying to escape your physical reality. To ascend spiritually is to accept and love your physical reality. Higher consciousness means being fully present in each moment. Stop trying to reach it, and you may just realize you are already there. Mm. For some reason, well, there's always a reason, right? As I was reading the description and the explanation, I thought of that you are already with your soulmate twin flame in the 5D. You've already had telepathic communication, you get messages through synchronicities and songs, and um, it might be that you're desiring more, you want a 3D relationship, you want a relationship in the physical, and you're trying to make that happen, and perhaps it needs, you need to evaluate the nature of the connection, how it would fit in with your 3D physical life. And surrendering to the divine plan, divine timing. And what if it doesn't happen in the 3D? How will you feel? How will it affect your spiritual growth? you know, that kind of thing. Are you willing to let go, surrender, surrender to the divine, the plan that's already in place? Things to think about, okay? But you are a warrior goddess. Uh-huh. You seek the connection. Cherry Creek Jasper. Let's see, Buddha. Free yourself from head purpose and content. Only intent on what is so. Is it beneficial for you to have this relationship in the 3D? That's something that we need to consider. Form does not differ from void. Form is void. Outer difficult will be, will, will be resolved with inner truth. So your inner inner wisdom already knows the plan. And what is beneficial for you. So do that message with whatever you will. Um, you already know the truth. And you can handle the truth. God, I really don't want to be somber with it. But, you know, hey, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. I don't know if you accept that. But Golden Healer Quartz. This is your message for divine feminine energy. Buddha wisdom. There is nothing better that you can give to a person than to be present with them. Be in the moment. Be in the here and now, right here. Not tomorrow, not next week, not five years from now. Be in the present moment. Be present. All we, all we have is this very moment. Not eight of pentacles. You're working hard at something. Mm -hmm. Page of cups. Are you working hard, hard at figuring out 
who to give your cup of love to. Mm, Ten of Wands. Ready to give up burdens. Queen of Wands. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. I still think you've been working hard. Maybe you've been ignoring your emotional side. You've been so involved with work. There's been a lot of burdens. And there's a queen of wands. I can't figure out if that's you or not. Mm hmm Okay, let's see. Let's see what these other messages are. Ooh. Bright Destiny, number 14, she says, it became, I be, it became a butterfly. Bright Destiny, number 14. Hmm. <sighs> this one has me stumped. Mm-hmm. Bright destiny in a reading. It's okay to feel unclear. Oh, I'm, I'm unclear. <laughs> this is funny. It's okay to feel unclear or even confused about what is happening in your life or within you at this time. I'm confused totally. And you are too, I guess. We are both together confused. It's like that because you are going through soul growth. Things will become clear in time. For now, however, let the process happen. Fear can make us try to force something that isn't quite ready yet. Don't try to impose a meaning, take action, or understand it all prematurely. Don't think too hard. That's what I was doing, trying to figure out that message. When it is time for you to act, you'll know it. It's okay to relax and trust that the moment of clarity will come when the time is right. Wow. Huh. Okay. Interesting. God. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay. Wow. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. This is pretty interesting. God. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. <sighs> Golden Healer Quartz. God card. Okay. I'm going to hold it up for you. God. You may be asking, does... Whoa. You may be asking, does God really exist? And if so, where is God when you need God most? <gasps> Often it is in our times of greatest need that we feel the most alone. This card is your confirmation that you are never alone. The universe has heard your call and wants you to know that the loving presence of the divine creator always fills and surrounds you. Surrender your fears and concerns. Accept the healing light that is being offered to you in this very moment. Out of fear, we often try to swim against the current. This is a waste of time and energy. Trust, accept, and let go. Though there are bound to be many twists and turns along the way, you'll be pleasantly surprised where the river of life eventually takes you. Each life is like an ocean, forever yearning for love's shore. We ebb and flow, not realizing we eternally bathe in the sea of love. All right, you're already supported. So I feel like, look at this. I feel like you, my friend, 
have been busy working hard in the real world, right? You've been burdened by people, ideas, things. Maybe this, see, I don't think this Queen of Wands is you necessarily. It, it could be someone's been messing around with you. I don't know why I feel like that. And, um, yeah, you have this emotion. Maybe you've been avoiding your emotional growth, right? Your spiritual growth. And it's time to just like they said, you don't have all the answers. Don't rush it. You're certainly supported through the divine, through God. It's going to help you. Perhaps you overcome and do become the queen of wands in your own right. Yeah. Mm. There is nothing better than that you can give to a person than to be present, being in the present moment. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think you're evolving into the Page of Cups. You're going to evolve from this working hard at some task and really um, healing your emotional wounds. Those things, those burdens you've been carrying around, perhaps someone's been a menace to your growth or something. I don't know why that Queen of Wands is just not sitting right. I don't know. I don't think that's you. I think that's someone who's been the bane of your existence. Hmm. I don't know. That came to mind. But yeah, you're on a healing journey. You um, have a bright destiny. You're just in the thick of it. And you are transforming into the butterfly. Just don't rush it. You know, emotional wounds and healing childhood wounds takes a bit of time and you're supported by God in the universe. So golden hill of quartz, it's a healing stone, very powerful. You might want to look into, um, golden healer quartz as a, um, support for you on this journey, something to consider. Okay, Divine Feminine, that concludes the message for now. I wish you all the best. Take care and take care of yourself.